Today, our solar system is home to our planet Earth and the moon and the sun and the other planets. But try imagining it four and a half billion years ago. Not an easy thing to do because there wasn't anything there except some dust floating through space. And then a mysterious super high temperature event melted that dust into little glassy spheres. Where are they now? Well, they're in here. Those tiny glassy spheres are called chondrules. And about four and a half billion years ago, they started attaching themselves to each other, sticking together, growing into larger masses through a process called accretion. And over time, accretion formed bigger rocks and then rubble piles and eventually asteroids and eventually the rocky bodies or the planets in our solar system. About 85% of all meteorites that fall to the surface of our planet are part of the chondrite family, but there's a lot more to it than that. The chondrite family is divided into about 15 different groups and different chondrites have different kinds of chondrules. Some are tiny and colorful and jam-packed together, and some are large and pale, and some are almost invisible against the background of meteorite material that had melted on an ancient asteroid. And some that we call armored chondrules, particularly fascinating. They have a little metallic shield around them, perhaps protecting them from minuscule alien invaders. As a meteorite hunter, there's really only one thing more exciting than finding a strange rock out in the wilderness, and that's looking inside that rock and seeing little colorful grain-like spheres called chondrules. I'm Jeff Notkin, Space Rock Specialist, and this is your Meteorite Minute.